Ducks, and we are not done with this topic. Dara McDonald, the town manager for one of those Colorado towns, Crested Butte, says the mail delivery failure has been a chronic problem there since 2017, and she joins us now. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. So I want to start with, uh, is it true that Christmas cards are not arriving until February there? Did that actually happen? That's absolutely true. In several of our communities, it's hard to describe the months that people wait for mail, um, not just Christmas cards, anything. Birthday presents at a call last week. A birthday present that was due in early January had just arrived six weeks too late. Six weeks too late. And I just saw an article in the Colorado Sun, too, that said that there is a young man willing to take $50 to wait in line for you, because sometimes you can wait in line at the post office for two hours. That's true. We do have some entrepreneurial spirit here in Crested Butte. Well, I mean, that means it's a huge problem. So how is it that the USPS has kind of abandoned these seven towns and, and forced you to file a lawsuit here? So I think the thing to understand is that a lot of our communities don't have regular home delivery. In our rural communities, um, quite often the post office does not deliver to the home. Um, rather, we pay for post office boxes. And that's our only option to receive mail. Um, and that worked fine for many years, but with the advent of online shopping um, starting in the late um, 2010s, we started to see um, backups at the post office. That's and right. Amazon is causing that, a lot of these problems, right? Because they've got so many packages, they're really kind of clogging the mechanism. Yeah, so Amazon, um, there are contracts with the UPS. So UPS won't bring packages to your door regularly, but they'll drop them at our local post office. We're in Crested Butte. We have no PO. We have no parcel lockers, so you literally have to wait in line to receive almost any package. So every day in this small resort town, basically, you have this line out the door at the at the post office. Is that right? That's correct. In all manner of weather. So what is the solution here? You know, for us, it has a lot to do with those um, rural, the last mile delivery. So having Amazon and UPS actually drop packages at your door like they do everywhere else in America. It absolutely has to do with the hiring challenges that the post office is facing, that we're all facing. Um, the post office needs to step up and pay more, provide housing, do all the things that our rural communities do to ensure that we have employees to meet the services that are expected of us. And that is Dara McDonald. She is the town manager in Crested Butte, and uh, she has been on the record as saying that mail service is constitutional right, and so they need to figure this out. So uh, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.